morning. Back again. Gorgeous day today. And Barbara's getting a bit fed up of all this rubbish in the lounge. Well, she calls it rubbish, but it's stuff. It's stuff I need for the van. So We've got a box full of egg boxes. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Um, I ordered the gas tank. So, that is huge. It's like a torpedo. Um, all the fittings and everything in there. Got it from these people. Ultra Gas 2000 Limited. Really professional company. I've got all the fittings and everything. Uh, I've got a bullfinch fitting for a gas barbecue outlet. <coughs> and also the... Um, well, there's every, everything in here. It was a bit pricey. It was more than I budgeted for. But it's a very professional full kit. So at the moment it's on the kitchen table. We're going to take it outside in the back garden and spray it with some stone chip paint because it'll probably need a couple of coats so if we can do it this morning then probably again this afternoon get that out of the way. So I sprayed all these yesterday with um, like a chip, uh, chip prevention paint I can't remember what it's called is it? Oh I'll use this stuff Stone Guard Black. It's quite good actually, I've used it for, for a lot of stuff. So, yeah. So I've painted those uh, all yesterday. I'm going to get these fitted under the van, try and get this gas tank in. I've been spraying all the fittings and things as well, so they're all black. Um, they match the, um, well, the colour of the van really. We just I didn't want any white inlets and outlets and things, I just prefer them all black because they blend in, everything else is black on the van. So, um, yeah, we will never go up there, so I will come back to you and try and get this uh, camera underneath the van. If I can't, I'll just have to try and explain to you how I did it. But uh, I have got a small tripod, but I'm um, not sure whether it's just a little bit too big. But uh, we'll give it a go anyway, so I'll catch you in a bit. When you buy the kit, it's fitted with this, which goes in there, but they um, recommend that you fit this one, and this is um, an electronic one, so you can see how much gas you've got in your tank from, from inside the van. So yeah, I think that uh, that piece there is, is now redundant, so um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, it's on the stairs, the gas tank. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go out to the van. I'm going to have a look underneath, see where these brackets are going. Well, I've managed to get the camera under the van. Um, I've drilled two holes there and hammer-righted them. Um, for one of the brackets. Which I've got somewhere. Oh, it's behind you. Um, so I'm just gonna if I turn you around. It's hard work. This camera under it. I'm gonna do the same with that one there. I'm gonna put two holes in there. You can see I've marked one hole. Um, I'm gonna drill that out. Then I'm gonna drill one over to. Uh, the, to the other side there um, and then I should be able to get both brackets on good grief the hole you want is 12 millimeters but I didn't want to use my 12 mil straight off this is an 11 but it's still I'd like touching it. Way through. Well, the time has come for me to cut another hole in the van for the gas inlet. Um, I'm putting it in the B pillar at uh, the lower part of the, the van. Uh, I will show you. Um, and I'll show you what I've done up to now fitting the gas tank. It's taking me. About a day and a half, it's been really awkward. 
but uh, I managed to get it all in. I'm just waiting for some clips to come, which should be here today or tomorrow, just to um, just strengthen the brackets that uh, the tank sat in. I will go through that with the NMA, but I'm going to go out now and drill a hole in the in the side of the van, which I'm not really looking forward to. But got to be done. I'm not really happy about this, but we're going to do it. I'm just going to file that, I'm going to take the uh, camera out of the way because I'm on the main road here and I keep getting cars going past and frightened to death somebody will bump into the camera so I'm going to take this masking tape off, give it a good filing and uh, there we go, another hole in the van. <laughs> Yeah, hard work under here. Right, so I carried on doing a bit of the gas tank. So there you can see it bolted to the chassis. Put the deflector plate in there for the exhaust. Uh, and that's probably, it looks like it's in the right position, but um, it should be 110 degrees. I think it's right, but um, we'll be able to tell when we fill it up. So these brackets here third under here, that you get with the gas tank well they have a, a bolt that runs through the middle I don't know if you can see it no I can't pinpoint it for you because I can't get my other hand under well, they have a thin like an M4 or an M5 bolt goes through the middle to pull these two straps together these two this strap holds it up oh. The only problem is, it's <laughs> it's a design fault in my opinion. That bolt that goes through the middle to pull these two things together should be welded in because when you try and tighten the nut up from underneath, the whole thing spins and you can't get anything in the top to hold the bolt head whilst you're screwing the washer on uh, the nut on. So I struggled and struggled for a couple of hours and then I thought, do you know what, I'll get it as tight as I can. And then I went and bought these aerial brackets, um, just as a, a, a belt and braces exercise really. So I've put aerial brackets around. You can, oh God, I've got this, I've, I've partly spray, underbody spray on, um, which is good stuff actually. But, um, but yeah, these aerial brackets are um, well good. They've gone right through the um, through the bracket, as you can see, and um, they're basically a U-bolt. And I've just turned them up from underneath a lot easier, and that's going absolutely nowhere now. So yeah, happy with that. The gas pipe's coming out of here. Oop, down to there, going up, going round and down. And it's hanging down there at the moment because I, I'm waiting to drill a hole in the pillar to get it through. Um, apart from that, it it did okay in the end this job, but <clears throat> it is a really hard job if you haven't got a ramp or um, a pit. Um, and I'm lucky that I could just about squeeze under here to work. I think it'd be easier towards the back of the vehicle when I'm putting the water tanks in. But um, yeah, it wasn't the uh, wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do this. But happy with the way it's turned out. It's not going anywhere. Um, so I'll try and show you the pillar. Um, it's, it's a bloody awkward. Bit. I'll just get to it. Hang on. 
and you can actually see where I've spread some uh, oh. some underbody spray. some underbody spray on this side but yeah that's the pillar where the hole is for sorry the camera's all over the place because I'm upside down and it's not the easiest thing to uh, to film I can get it straight the holes in there this is the pillar so what we need to do is drill a hole which I've marked out there as a circle in here but the distance between the tank and this is just too narrow to get a drill in. So I've ordered a right angle drill bit thing um, off Amazon and hopefully when that comes today I'll be able to cut this out, put the pipe through, get it to come out into here on this side and then I can fit the uh, Sorry, it's upside down. It's what happens when you're doing this, isn't it? You're upside down, sideways, everything. It's, uh, but yeah, um, and then I'll, under, I'll finish the underspraying and just tidy all this up. That white wire there is the um, the one for the gas um, the gas level gauge. That's pretty easy because I've gone up through the pillar and into the cab through there, so I didn't have to drill a hole. Um, so that's the regulator that's on. So the gas pipe's going to be coming out of um, out of that regulator, up through the floor, um, possibly around here. Um, that'll go straight into the Truma boiler, and then I'm going to take two gas lines from the inside of the vehicle right across. They'll be covered by uh, like a boxed-in thing anyway. Um, to the other side of the van, where oh, sorry, I'm sideways on again. To the other side of the van, where um, it's a bad picture, this isn't it? There's no light under the van. Sorry. Where I'll go back down through the floor, um, across and up into the kitchen area where the cooker will be, and then uh, there's a barbecue plate going over there somewhere. So I haven't sussed that out yet. I just want to get this finished and bottled off today because it's it's doing my head in. I can get the camera right in there. Um, you can see um, can you see? No, not really good. The aerial bracket again on this side. So yeah, there there and well this is just it's just rigid solid, it's just not going anywhere this tank now. I just get worried when I'm carrying 15 kilos of gas round. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're up to. Hello. Had a haircut yesterday. Looks a bit of a mess um, now. But yeah, actually did look like Marv out of Home Alone. So yeah, um, so good haircut. Ooh. Don't want to be zooming in that far, do we? And break your TV screens. Right, um, finished off the gas finally yesterday. That's all ready now for a hole going through the floor connecting the gas pipe. So I've had loads of problems trying to fit the gas um, inlet valve because the numpty that I am, I put the gas tank in first and then couldn't get a uh, drill to drill through the B panel, um, the you know the side panel, because that's where the gas inlet's gone at the bottom. But there wasn't enough room to get a drill in, so I bought a right angled thing from Amazon that was slipping all over the place. It was a right nuisance, honestly. So I ended up drilling a few holes and then managed to cut the hole. And anyway, enough rambling. It's all on in done. <laughs>